the corner. Sunday is Mother's Day, and for many of us, some of our favorite memories of mom have to do with those great home cooked meals. And we want to find out what some of Calgary's top chefs love most about their mom's cooking. So we came up with Mom's Best Meal Week. And kicking things off for us this morning is the chef and owner of Angie Restaurant, Roy O, and his mom as well, and dad, who you brought along. Yeah. <laughs> so good morning to both of you. And they're sort of standing off to the side, and uh, no pressure. Chef? No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Yeah. Just did... mom standing right there. <laughs> now, did you actually grow up cooking together? Uh, no, we didn't actually. I didn't cook with my mom for a long time. I just watched her a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, what I learned from my mom is just by tasting her food. Yeah, yeah. by tasting. And then you've evolved that into Anju. Yeah. And for people who aren't familiar, uh, you're in a, I mean, a relatively new location within mm -hmm. its first year. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys all about? Uh, we're doing modern style Korean food. Uh, there are some fusion elements for sure, but yeah. we're just trying to bring Korean food into the mainstream and make it accessible to everybody. Okay, yeah. so delicious too. You're going to whip up a recipe here. So is this something that you grew up, you grew up with in your household? More or less, yeah. Okay. I've t uh, it's my take on it. Uh -huh. uh, so what the dish is, sweet and sour uh, pork, deep fried pork. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny because this is actually a Korean fusion dish. It's a, chi it's a Korean take on Chinese sweet and sour pork. Okay. And I'm taking it to a different level. Uh, we're using baby back ribs, which we've roasted, uh, so they're nice and tender. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a sweet and sour sauce? It's got uh, red and green peppers, uh, carrot, peas, and a little bit of Granny Smith apple. Okay, delicious. So now where do we start here? Okay, I'm going to start by deep frying the pork. These are already cooked. We're mm -hmm. just going to warm them up. Delicious. And now, is this on the menu at Anju? This is not, but it will be in June. Okay. Uh, we're featuring this dish for Pork Month. Okay. Pork Month? Yeah. June what? Is, June is Pork Month. Yes, it is. <laughs> I sense a live remote in our future. <laughs> okay, so Pork Month in June, and this is, so you're developing recipes for that. And how often do you evolve your menu? Uh, we try to go more than seasonal. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely one or two dishes that we switch out every two weeks or so, but we try to focus on uh, seasonal menus. So right now we're near our spring menu, mm -hmm. uh, kind of lighter, lots of fish, uh, things ready, you know, like good vegetables. Yeah. yeah, yeah, great. Okay, now what is the key to deep frying these ribs? Uh, it's all about timing, right? It's all about timing and the temperature of the oil. You never want to start with too hot or too cold. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably at 325 just because the ribs are already cooked. But if I was cooking from raw, I would go at 350 degrees okay. Fahrenheit. Yeah. Okay. So those are on the go here. Those are on the go. And what is the key to a great sweet and sour sauce? Um, I think not too much uh, potato starch. Okay. Yeah, just the right amount because you don't want it. You want the perfect consistency, right? How much is too much? How do we how do we gauge? I don't know. I just uh, You're what the I have in my recipe, I think, is one and a half tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Um, to cold water. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you mix that in into the cold water before you pour that into the hot uh, sauce. Yeah. Okay, terrific. And we've got some ingredients laid out here. Yep. What else are we going to put together? Uh, these are actually mostly in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're using uh, shaved red onion for garnish, soy sauce, Korean chili, and mixed sesame seeds, and that's all garnished. The rest of the ingredients are already incorporated. Okay. What were some of your favorite dishes growing up? What did mom make that you liked? Uh, this was one of the favorite, obviously, because as a kid, you love deep fried, sweet, yep. sweet and sour stuff. Um, another thing was our marinated beef short rib. Mm -hmm. um, always good and spicy uh, sauteed pork. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Are these just about ready? These huh? are very close to ready, yeah. Okay. For sure. So let's get those out. It smells delicious. Amazing. And now over at Angie, what's the specialty? What's your top seller? Um, we have a few, actually. We have our oxtail tortellini which is my actually favorite dish to make. Um, crispy tofu with sauteed kimchi. And we have our famous wings, which everyone loves. Yeah, the wings are legendary. Okay, we're gonna let that cool down. We'll plate this up and uh, show it off here in just a bit. So we'll take a break. It's still sizzling and it smells delicious. June is pork month. Yes. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us this morning.